And another thing I can probably show you is, is how to do a figure eight. I've just got it rigged up here on a motor car. This is something that everyone needs to know because it's a way of tying wire without wasting wire. You just turn the wire around like that. Then you go through the wire, under the wire, twist it around and bring it back through like that. Then just pull it and you've got a figure of eight. That's how you tie most wire up on fences if it's plain wire. You can use it on barbed wire but it's very fiddly because you've got to put things the, the claws through, you know. If you can't do a figure eight, this is the way they tie it. You grab the wire here, you spin it round like that, put your pliers on the end of it, and you just do this up like that. And always turn the wire back so no one gets hurt or cattle don't run into it and rip their guts out or something. And when you do the other end, you put the wire through again. You just push him through the eye like that, round there to a certain amount that you think is good enough that you can turn easily with your finger and bend it, bring it round, twist it right across. Then get your pliers again and hook onto there so that it doesn't spin. Your pliers hold it, stop it from spinning, and just go like that with your thumb and hand. And when you're finished, twist the wire back. And that's, that's the way 90% of people do, do knots. And you know, I, I'm not a great lover of that knot, I like the figure eight. With barbed wire that's right because it won't slip because the prongs on the barbed wire will hold. But with this, something gives us a real good thing, you can feel it, see that one up there? If I've only put a couple of laps on it, it will slowly come undone, see?